Greetings folks. In this video I'm going to be having a look at the Q-Lite OSD which is a clever little electronics project by a guy called David Payne. This is an OSD, a standalone, standalone OSD unit for the DJI goggles. It doesn't need a flight control board. Can plug a GPS into it and you run a DJI air unit or, or a air unit light through it. So it's based on the Wemos D1 Mini microcontroller board. It's a fun little soldering project. So we have the Wemos D1 microcontroller board and then you solder on the pin headers. There's a barometer on board and a voltage regulator as well. So I'll just go in closer and have a look at all the components that come in the kit and you get a QR code to take you to a build video. A couple of little resistors that you need to solder on. There is a very thorough build video and PDF available. It's hosted on GitHub so you can get all the information there and I'll show you that in a little bit more detail. There's the little voltage regulator, header pins, the main board. So here's the assembly PDF and you can see there's the, the main board. DJI plugs in here, ground, battery and transmitter. Make sure you get the polarity around the correct way. GPS plugs in here, voltage, ground and uh, TX and RX. Solder on the, the barometer, BMP280. So you start by soldering on these resistors, a 30K and a 7.5K. And then the little uh, voltage regulator, power cable of your choice. There's a bit of a calibration process to go through, playing with the voltage regulator to get the pins on this D5 here to uh, uh, between 5.5 and 6 volts, and that gives you the most accurate pack voltage reading. Solder on the barometer, as I said. And then there's the Wemos board that just plugs into the, the pin headers, and that also has a Wi-Fi capability. It also records or logs the GPS readings and you can recover that GPS uh, log file using the Wi-Fi mode, uh, which is explained in here as well. And we need to load firmware onto the Wemos D1 board and we get the uh, firmware file on GitHub. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute, but all the links are here. You need to download the correct drivers so that you can connect the Wemos board to your computer. I'm on a Mac, so that was a little bit different. But all the information is available on this website here, the sparkfun.com website, where you get the drivers. Uh, and then you also download uh, this uh, Node MCU Pi flasher to actually do the, the, the firmware flashing. That all just works as you would expect. Flash the firmware, choose the firmware that you want. You can get uh, a few different versions of firmware. I'll just go and have a look at them on GitHub now. And this shows you how to get the GPS log from the board. Uh, you basically short the D3 pin to ground for three seconds, uh, puts it into Wi-Fi mode, connect to the Wi-Fi network, go to this web address and your logs, log files will be, will be available there to download. So this is the, the GitHub repository uh, where you'll find all the information that I've been showing you. Where to buy the kits on Etsy there, assembly guide that we've, we're just looking at the PDF, FAQ. Lee from Painless360 has done a couple of videos on it as well, so um, make sure you have a look at them. Now here are four pre-compiled uh, firmware versions. There's uh, GPS Imperial, GPS Metric, No GPS Imperial and No GPS Metric. I use the GPS metric. Pack voltage can be 7.4 to 17 volts. And this also powers the DJI FPV unit. Now you can compile your own firmware and you can change the position of the OSD elements using this table, this chart here to uh, define where the elements are. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm pretty happy with the way it's, it's laid out. I'll show you my version of this screen anyway. And that's just going through all the stuff that we've just had a look at. So here are all the firmware versions you can download, pre-compiled ones that we we're talking about. So this is what we actually see on the screen. So the DJI stuff, this is the 84 minutes, and all of this stuff over here is the inbuilt DJI OSD by default. 
and the channel down here. Now the Q-Lite stuff is the Q-Lite OSD logo up there, pack voltage and per cell voltage there. If you have the GPS connected, you will also get the GPS coordinates down here and uh, the barometer will probably give you altitude. GPS gives you speed and distance to home. This is a home arrow here that when you're actually flying it points to home and we have a, a cross here in the middle and satellites up the top. David's also designed a 3D printed case so you can download those files and print it for yourself if you want to, which I did. So I took it out this morning for a flight on my Bixler 2 and uh, we can go and have a look at that flight and we can also have a look at the GPS uh, log file that we downloaded and have a look at some of the fun views you can have of the GPS track. I've mounted the Q Lite OSD in my little Bixler there, it's just sort of poked into there. Uh, I do have a GPS connected up, that is a uh, Matek SAM M8Q um, and a Cadex Vista and camera on the front. So let's go for a fly in this magnificent spot. Get this plane up and flying. Under the goggles and whoa, here we go. So no flight control board. So I've got to be careful. We have voltage. Man, look at that view. Uh, so top left, we have uh, uh, Q-Lite OSD. Uh, top middle, we have the direction to home arrow. Um, altitude, speed, height, distance to home, sorry, GPS coordinates, uh, and that is very cool. Have to be careful to remember that I haven't got a, let's find out where I am, oh, there I am down there, Lonely figure standing on the side of the hill, cool, so let's fly around a bit. So yeah, if you just want to fly around with a spectacular view and not have the hassle of a flight control board, there you go. That's what it's all about. Flying northeast towards Wright Island and Granite Island in the middle. That is Seal Island out there. This is spectacular. Better keep an eye on my distance to home because I haven't optimised uh, receiver position or anything like that. This is so cool. If there was a bit more wind, I'd be able to turn the motor off and just cruise. But we've got the pack voltage on there. Let's try a bit of soaring anyway. Keep an eye on the altitude to see if I'm dropping too much. 68, 62, yeah, I am losing altitude, so there's not enough lift, really. But I can glide a little bit. This is cool. Perfect for a uh, FPV slope soaring where you don't need return to home or the hassles of uh, flight control board. Oh yeah, gaining height. Must, wind must have picked up a little bit. That's cool. 47 metres, 52 metres. Nice. 76 metres, 82 metres. Gaining height beautifully. This is cool. 127 metres. The lift has kicked in. 160 meters, gosh, this is cool. Better not get too far away. Turn around facing it. Ah, oh, probably around behind. 90, 105, 113. Just picking up lift. Oh, don't go too far out there. Easy to get carried away. 145 meters. Where are we? Now oh, there we are over there. dive down past me. Beautiful. All right, I will bring it into land now.
Beautiful. All right. That is done. So how cool is that? On-screen display without a flight control board and your DJI goggles. Now to view that flight in Google Earth, we download the GPX file like I showed you before. Open it up in Google Earth. Get rid of that tick box. Don't want to tie the altitude to ground and then click OK and then it'll zoom in on your flight. And there we go there, and there are a few different views you can have a look at. Uh, the 3D view of the track, which looks pretty cool. Shows you where to, you found the lift and where you started and ended and all that sort of stuff. And you can also sort of replay the flight track as well, as well as the altitude. So, all very interesting stuff. So there you go, that is a nice little piece of electronics, a nice simple little solution for uh, having a, an OSD with GPS information, altitude, pack voltage, all those essential things if you just want to go for a bit of fun flying without the hassle of uh, programming up a, a flight control board. Just fly around with the essential OSD information in your goggles. That's the Q Light OSD for DJI FPV, a standalone OSD. Very nice indeed. Thanks for watching.